Michael Jumalo. I'm here with a superstar, one of the biggest and then one of the most, uh, let me say, versatile artists ever at a, at a GH. Wow, wow, Captain Planet, what a world. Everything cool, everything blessed. I don't know why every day they drip like that. And it's necessary as an artist. I, don't, I think um, looking good should be an option. So it's part of the branding and packaging as well. You know, yeah, so. That's what's up. That's what's up. But I had, I had a lot of questions, right? Interesting enough, like you've been around for a while, but people keep asking the same question. Why Captain Planet? I've always been a captain, like from school, I've, I've been a class captain all my life. I've been a school prefect all my life. So the captain has been part of me from, from day one. Yeah. So, so it had nothing to do with the cartoon? <laughs> because there's a captain, a lot of people, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know how to people. I know some kids when they see me, they, they go like, oh, Captain Planet, can you fly? I say, no, I'm not that Captain Planet. I don't fly. I can't. I can't fly. You know, a lot of people think uh, they connect me to that uh, ca Captain Planet cartoon. Yeah, which is very good, but, you know. But he, he, he was iconic, so yeah, I think it's the same vibe. <laughs> Everybody knows about that uh, cartoon series, and it was dope. Amazing. Now, how how did you get into music, like, to begin with? Personally, like, as a kid, was it something that you always knew that I'm going to be a musician or how did it happen? Yeah, I have a lot of um, family members who are musicians, and I was the fango type when I used to change household objects into musical instruments, like I play those conko, those buckets and all those things. So my parents knew from my right beginning that I'm a, I'm a music lover. So they knew I was going to be a musician for sure, because I love music. So the journey started after my tertiary institution. Then I got uh, a link up with book bag, uh, uh, Prince Bright. My cousin, uh, my, cousin, my cousin is married to Prince Bright's sister. Okay. So we are like family. So I got connected to Bright, and that's where he started. He introduced me to JQ. We became a clique all over, so that's how it is. That's awesome. But what was that first event you play, like some big stage, you make you realize, say, no, Captain Planet, I reach? <laughs> I'm that type that I don't see that I reach, I reach issue. I still see myself as some underground artists, because as an artist, you, you need to be hungry for the fame. The moment you think you are there, you are there, so that's it, it stops there. Then there is nowhere for you to go again. So I'm, uh, I'm a hungry dude, I always, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you put it that way, I'll go allow, I'll go allow. <laughs> you need to be hungry for the, for the job. If you are not hungry, then you are comfortable. You need to just sit back and relax. But we're working all day trying to reach where we wanted to be in life. I love music. I want to do music for long, so I keep going hard. It's awesome that you still have this mentality because, I mean, like, for someone like me, I feel Captain Planet is, like, one of the biggest to ever do it. I remember listening to songs like, uh, oh, Jacket remakes, you know, all those songs. Oh. Yeah, Obiaji Obi Girl and all that. I'm like, oh, Captain Planet is a big deal. Talking about Obiaji Obi Girl. <laughs> Let's go back to that one <laughs> because uh, because I know a lot of people may have forgotten. I'm sure around that time you had a lot of interviews where people asked you, but then let's take it back. Did you really go take somebody and girl? Somebody take you, your girl? Oh, my guests, there are plenty of guests take my guests with me to take them my own song. So, <laughs> if you want, Charlie, you know my guests with boggers take, we are no fit talk. Who will they go talk? Charlie. The thing is, say, when they take your girl, like, that one self know they pay no. When your boys know, see this person, they run your game, it be painful pass. If you come out, then them all they go keep quiet. You left there now, you go here, see this boy, John. This pe <laughs> <laughs> that be the way they go use on you, John, see. Because he said they run in game, you know, no. You see, that play the pain, what people know. If nobody know, you go keep them secret. Your own brothers. Share, yeah, they go laugh you pass. <laughs> that one's the way they kill, they kill you. Oh, Charlie. So, so right now, you, you've dropped a new one, Empuna Treyede, right? So I want to understand, before we even talk about that one, be like you like the conversation around the ladies a lot. How do you feel about the ladies in general? Anybody that knows me, 
I'm a very jovial person. I like, I like, I like fooling a lot. So, who be so be Who be What do you We we fool a lot on 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 Twitter. Oh, I know. I follow. I see. I see the post, and you're always posting videos. Life is too short. We try to have fun and all laugh and you know create jokes and all that. so i realized that i have that sense of humor in me so i decided to put them in in the music from whereby people can relate to stories and i like telling stories from my right beginning coco uh, drew name it i was oh telling stories so, but, but, but this one let's talk about this one what inspired this one in penetration is um is the foundation of all marriages Call it whatever, courtship or whatever. Yeah. The whole, the whole word, obia Everybody is engaging in planetry that people don't know. The boyfriend, girlfriend is in planetry. Any relationship that is not ordained by God, that is not legit, is not signed in court, is in planetry. That one, they affect a lot of people. Everybody is, everybody is, everybody is trained in plan. <laughs> but, but, is trained in planetry. I don't, I don't have any. Of, no, I'm not married. You have a girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. Oh, I used to. Stop that. Aha. I used to. Yeah. <laughs> I used to. When the pantry went wrong, now you are scared. Yeah, that one, you will go cry small, then you will yeah. come back. People, people should engage in pantry so they can know uh, their partners very well. Some people get married, like they see themselves within a week, then they will say they are in love. That's internet love. You can't see somebody and fall in love one week. No, you need to know. Me, for instance, I, I made train plan for six years before I got married to my wife. So we, 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 we got connected. We knew each other. But we were very worried. Oh, am I allowed to speak to you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, catch you. Make my sibling, yeah, catch you. Oh, be worried. 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 They were supposed to know before getting married, no? Omu nim. Inti bema nu hu obana na ni buefu. Obana nye ne shi ye. Obana nisu hu bema na na ni buefu. Because they didn't get to know themselves very well. And san omu omu marry. Boom. I get it, I get it. So the internet love need. The internet, they are really a one-week love. Oh, I'm crashing on you. No, Messi, how do you They are in love. No, no, that's not, that's, that's internet love. <laughs> right now, we have a new term, internet love. Oh, we're not going to die right now. <laughs> like, talking about music, are we getting any international collaborations coming up? I'm working, I'm working, I'm, I'm working on it. If I'm able to grab something, I would say I'm fortunate. But I like to do songs with my people over here. They say charity begins at home. I can't just wake up and say I'm going international. I need to do songs with people over here. So I, I, I need to give it to my people first. Then I, I think when, when, when the good work is being done, the connect will come. Yeah, yeah, that's that's very true. Now you you've been in the industry for a long time, and uh, most of the time, a lot of people can't handle the pressure and the fame that it comes with. You are still in the industry; everything is cool. How do you manage the attention and the fans and all of that? I'm not the outgoing type. I'm always home, 24. If I'm not home, I'm traveling, or I'm with my wife, or I'm I have a shop. I'm at the shop, and I'm the type that, like I said, I always see myself as some underground artist you understand i see sometimes people be like oh this guy doesn't come out i don't come i don't go anywhere i don't drink i don't smoke i don't party i don't go to beach i don't you won't see me anywhere i'm always home so i, I live a very a, a very wild lifestyle and a very boring lifestyle <laughs> so the fame and whatever whatever it doesn't it doesn't come to mind we've seen it all We've seen it all. We started, we started enjoying money and fame when a lot of the, the new school boys, they were in secondary school, they used to rewrite my rap and they learn. Yeah. When I'm coming on facts, yeah, they, yeah, they used to run TV3. I remember all of them. A lot of them were in school. So we, we've seen it all. We've done it all. But we're still doing what? We're still doing it because we don't want to be like, we've gotten to that level. We, I, have, I haven't gotten to that level yet that I want to get to. So I'm still, I'm still, I'm still going hard. I'm still striving. I'm still working hard, and I'm, I'm still trying to penetrate. It would be key. Yeah. But for someone out there who is trying to get to your level, I mean, with everything you said, like, what's that one line you go tell them? Say, like, this is what you learned from your years in the industry. So this, the do and the don'ts yeah. of of the I'll industry. Don't let, don't let the fame 
gets to your head, people come and go every day. It's, it's all about how you, you manage to stay in the game. You know, it's not about one time hit, then you are gone. You understand? We've been there for like 17 years, and I would say it's not just the music. Just be humble, be respectful. Excuse me to say, you can be the ish without ishing on anybody. <laughs> yeah, you can be the ish without ishing on anybody. Just stay in your lane, do your thing. Don't watch what the next man is doing better than you. We have different destinies. We have different uh, plans that God has set for us. Yeah. So just keep working. Your time will come. The sky is big enough for every bird out there to 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 fly away, Peter. Fly away, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, talking about 17 years, how would you say your fans have treated you so far? I would say they, they are the best thing that has happened to me. They are the best thing because you can be talented, you can have a good music, but without the fans, you can you can you can't do it without them. They are the people that will push you. They are the people that will tell you that you are going the wrong direction. You need to, you need to involve your fans. You can't you can't you can't how do you, do you can't you take, can't them, take out. them out. Yeah. yeah. They they are part they are the reason why you are Captain Planet. They are the people pushing you. They they are investing in you. When I say they are investing in you, people don't know that the fans are the people, they are they are the they are the they, they are the Board of directors, yeah. yeah, because they buy your album. That's investment. They are investing in you. Yeah. They come to your shows. They download. They stream. They use their their data, their money, everything. So they are the biggest investors. They, they win arguments there for you. Yeah, yeah. You have people like that. I like this guy. I like this guy. Yeah. I keep saying I have I have a couple of guys on Twitter that I like them, and. I like them because their energy is, hey, okay, you can't come to my artist and say, yeah, yeah they protect you, they, they fight for you, they are always there for you. So your fans, you don't have to play with them. Yeah, yeah very, very true, very true. Now, I, I say you get a lot of tattoos. How, how many you get in total? Oh, just my daughter, my wife, my group name, and my mother, that's it. So like five? Oh yeah, like five or six. Oh, <laughs> no, I, I want the number. I want to stress this for the number. Honestly, I don't even know, but it's not that many. I have one sleep here, one sleep. Okay, so you have one for your wife, one for your mom, my daughter, and my group. And your group? Okay. Talking about your group, we, we've been hearing some reunion, the camera. Is it true? For sure. Fresh Prince is out of the country for like the past three years that people don't know and I don't say it. He is in the state, and we, we are waiting for him to come back. Kode 2 has his business going on right now. He has this uh, pastry company that he's doing well. And I think, as a musician, we don't, we don't, we don't, uh, we don't depend solely on music. We have other businesses that we do. So when we focus on what is going right, so when music is not going right, you still have business that is fetching you money, so you have to focus on there when it's time for uh, music you come back and you do music so people should watch out for it for we'll be coming back soon is it going to be this year or next year or you're not sure once corona no go i can't tell <laughs> <laughs> corona really worry me yeah corona really yeah you really worry me but then do you have some plans that you know if nothing happened because of corona of course i, I, I was going to release an album by the way the system is i had Jaga Jaga I have to just, I have to just uh, uh, yeah, hold on for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I want to push this album to the next level, if possible. Cry Grammy. And look, I'm cocky. I'm also going to ask you. Hey, Grammy. Forget them. <laughs> we go get to them. They, yeah. You see, they don't, they don't believe in themselves. So they always feel like everything is impossible. No, nothing is impossible. Speak, speak, speak life. Yeah. Yes. Speak life into true, true. Yeah. yeah, and the universe will ordain it. Speak, speak. Cause, life. Yeah, because your tongue gets power. Why? People are Nigerians are going to uh, the Grammys. Why can't a Ghanaian go to the Grammys? I think, I think, I think even Stone Boy with the whole nomination thing. If when the time is time music, if someone said it, he wouldn't, he wouldn't have that even was believed. Big. Then Sakodi on the billboard, Shata on billboard, Stone Boy. That was big. You see, Ghanaians, we we I say yeah, chuchi and wasi. 
but we don't see the bigger picture that, okay, this person is, is, is heading somewhere. Let's push him. What you say? The moment I say, who push you who to the next level? Now, something big, Abama, now, they need to support you, you know. Now, you see, be the agenda group. Or my chairman, agenda group. Agenda, <laughs> agenda group, I set your mouth. Agenda group set your mouth, said, yeah, forget. Your battery was I think we should, we love the fans, and I think now the fans are not really promoting um, the artists. They, they, some of them are really creating problems, rather, unlike before when they used to push the artists. So I think we should just focus on pushing our artists and ignore people that comes to create problem for you because it's, it's time wasting, it's distraction. You understand? If I'm, my, my artist is doing well, I need to push. Whatever you come out with, I don't care. It's OK. Yeah. It ends there. Let's focus. Let's, let's go. If, if, if Ghana musicians and our fans, we should team up and say, this person has this song going on or this album. Let's push it. That's what the Nigerians are doing. When Bernard Boy re uh, released his song, I saw almost every Ghani, uh, Nigerian person tweeting about it. And I was saying something on uh, Twitter, and I was like, all these Grammys and whatever, 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 awards, big, big platforms, they don't know any artist. They are not affiliated to any Ghanaian artist or any Nigerian artist. They sit in their office, and they, 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 they see the number of tweets, the number of emails that comes to them about a particular artist. Then they will be like, why is this kind of uh, messages coming to us? Who is this person? Yeah. Then they will start to assess the person. Straight, they will start to assess the person. What do you think, what do you think, I mean, aside the whole creating problems, I mean, in terms of selling music or pushing Ghana music to the limits, what do you think that Ghanaian artists are doing wrong or the industry is doing wrong? Artists, we are creators, uh, we create music. Uh, but I think we don't have that good infra uh, infrastructure to, to, to protect our song, to get us royalties. You know, so we, uh, we, we are lacking a lot of things, and it's not from the artists, from, it's from the system itself. So the big men out there, they need to do something. They need to do something for us. Look at South Africans. They don't, they don't go to Nigeria. They don't go to America. They, don't go. they end everything in their country. Because they have, they have a good system where their music is being protected. They have a good system where they, 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 they get royalties. But here every day, somebody, somebody, somebody for go fight Gambro. Somebody for go install. <laughs> yeah, they collect in, in, in 2000. No, Obi Bo Gambro, yeah. No, Obi Bo. Yeah. If we have that system, you don't need to move to Gambro. You don't need to move to this person. When the time comes, everything will be in your account. In your account. Yeah. yeah. It should be simple like that. Simple like that, and we don't have that system. Then the number of peop, uh, 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 playlists that we get, it goes waste in Ghana. But before, before we, I know you're going to perform, you guys right? Are, you guys are promoting us. No doubt about that. You guys are putting 100% effort in promoting us. But it goes waste. This matter. <laughs> But I know easy. So, so is, is, do you think it's a government issue or it's just our mentality? It's their issue. Who, whose issue? <laughs> <laughs> it is their issue. They should do something. So I think when we, we, I think we should wake up and let them know that. Listen, if you don't come out with be, a better manifesto that will that will enhance my career, I will vote against you. Let's 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 show them something, because everything. Everything in this country, uh, it, it involves music. Party, funeral, blah, blah. Even the big Where the campaign self? Where the campaign song? I guess that they play our own song to them. <laughs> you see, everything, it involves music. In Ghana, tell me, everything, even when they are campaigning, they play yeah. music. They want musicians to climb that platform and support them. But what support are we getting from them? We are not getting anything. Everything is just, just protect my music, protect my content for me. That's all I'm, I'm asking for. Charlie, 
You make my mood self change. <laughs> my mood self change. So if you be artist for Ghana, where Charlie, you they depend only on music where you no get hit song. How you go chop? That's why you need to have that extra thing there because you can't sustain yourself. When, even when you don't have that hit, uh, you don't have a hit song. You are you, you be gaining royalties from your your yeah. old old music. But old, then you then you songs. then you like like you know for job again. Yeah, old songs. But look at the system. All the 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 aged uh, musicians that we know the the big people do that when we were young we used to listen to them all. Look at how they excuse me to say how they end up. Very, very pathetic, and I think the government should do something about it. Mr. Politician, NDC or MPP, whoever is listening to me, please do something. Do something, do something. Yeah, because we, we've been very supportive. Why are they not supporting us? We support them all the time. I wish, I wish we had a politician here to answer these questions for us. Because if you're a politician, you, you, you play, not my song, but if you play any of my colleagues, their songs, yeah. it's a support for all of us. He's supporting you in the name of the industry, so support us too. Mm. So we can get there. At the end of the day, if you do something amazing too, they will, they will come and say that, oh, you did this for Ghana and all that, but there's no it, support. It is, it is only when you do something good. Yeah. yeah. It is only when something good happens to you. Then suddenly, oh, you're representing Ghana. Yeah, that one, they will attach you to Ghana. Do your work. They will say, they will even ignore you. <laughs> <laughs> they will ignore you. But when you strive to get there, then everybody will be like, oh, yeah, oh, congratulations. Give me, you didn't give me that support. We need that support. It's, it's, see, the way we were created, people don't understand the concept of life. We need each other. We need to support each other. We were created to depend on each other. You understand? So you, it, that, that's uh, one thing I was talking to you about concerning the fans. Yeah. They, I love them and I, I always be like, whoa, this person, you have people that even have your picture as their, their profile. Yeah, that, that's that. dope. Yeah. They could have just used their mother, who are you? <laughs> but they have love for you. Yeah. They have love for you, so they have support. They want to see the welfare of, of their artists, yeah. yeah. It's amazing. But this party pressure, I'm going to perform after this. I want to know which songs are, because you have too many songs. Oh, me, the songs there, yeah, any, any one you will play, I will say. <laughs> it'd be that simple. <laughs> but but before, before you go, I want to I want make you explain something simple for me. Very good. Bad guy, what do they mean? It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> the, th the thing is, so you know, you know, guys. Now we, the, the the youth is controlling the world now, and Oye Bibina Eyedopa. What what we normally say is Charlie, the thing bad, oh. Uh -huh. So that 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 that's the very good bad thing. I'm talking about. Oh, Charlie, the thing bad, oh. Charlie, the thing good, oh. The thing bad, oh. The thing is not like me being a, a troublemaker or something. No, I'm not, all my life, if you know me, you know that I'm not a troublemaker. I always try to stay away from trouble. I'm not a troublemaker. I'm just a fungo type, yeah. a jovial person and, you know. Yeah, I feel you, I feel you. Yepe, 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 Yo, that's what's up, man. Well, any final words before we get to the performance bit? Yeah, I would say the fans out there, we love you. Keep pushing us, keep supporting us, and we we, we are nothing without you guys. And Charlie, mum push here, mum push here. That's all. I'm gonna Jimmy. Yo, that's what's up, man. You see the energy we got right now, yeah. This is YFN.